All right, I'm going live today. I'm making my famous holiday sangria. Let me see if anybody's going to join me. If not, I can make it alone. Um, <clears throat> let me see if I can. I want to make my famous holiday sangria that I've been making, that I make every holiday, well, twice a year, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Hold on, let me. All right, so again, I'm making my famous holiday sangria. Um, again, I only make it twice a year at Thanksgiving and Christmas. If you're watching this video and you decide to make it, one or two glasses. Don't drive and don't blame me. It's pretty strong. All right, so I have some fruits up here. I have frozen fruit and I have fresh fruit. So I'm gonna start with my uh, frozen pineapple. That's real frozen. Who's who's with me? Let me see. I don't know. <clears throat> Got some frozen pineapple. Um. Got some mixed fruit: strawberries, mangoes, peaches. My favorite: raspberries. I just love frozen raspberry. Raspberry is like one of my favorite fruits. And I have some grapes here. Oh, I got some strawberries. And then we have some grapes. I'm going to cut those in half. This is wants to join me. <laughs> Naisha, are you in the room? I don't know if y'all can't see what I'm cutting, right? Probably not. Hey, Red, what's going on? Thank you for stopping in. So, I'll... Uh, Hamilton, when I, you know, I, you and I need to have a serious conversation. I'm mad my notification didn't go off. Oh, they didn't go off? <clears throat> Hamilton, you and I need to have a serious conversation. Well, we're not going to do it on this live tonight because I'm staying in a holiday spirit. <laughs> Today, I'm making, for Red and Hamilton, um, I am making my famous Christmas sangria. I'm going to say it again. If you, t if you make this and you drink a cup, don't drive your car. <laughs> it ain't my fault. I got nothing to do with what, what you do when you drink it. So I put it in here already. I got my, my igloo <clears throat> or drink holder. I, I don't know the technical word for it. Um, I, got, I have in here some frozen pineapple, some frozen strawberries, some frozen raspberries. Oh, and I have some blueberries too. Yes, we do. I need. <laughs> you know, I have to be good. I can't um I can't cocktail it up like I used to. For medical reasons. Hopefully red, not red, it is gonna be good. It's really gonna be good. Um 
Because I make this every year, only at Thanksgiving and Christmas. What y'all got going on? Y'all cooking, baking? I need to get a, like a nice punch bowl because whenever I make this, you have to scoop it out because by the time like all the wines and stuff get in, it's not coming out through the spout. And I'm going to try to do this live thing more often when we park in our car. <laughs> you don't need to sit in the car with this drink. Don't even sit in the car. Sit on the porch. And it's a little too cold for that right now. Hamilton, was your power out today? Woke up to no power. I was like... What's, what's going on? Out of all days I can have power, Christmas Eve, people got things to bake, run to the store. All right. I'm taking a while. I'm chopping these grapes. I'm chopping these grapes. I got to get used to this. I'm going to go a lot. Oh, you live in... That's right. Right, Red. Crazy. And it was out until like... um, Well, I don't know. Because we went to some stores... And when we came back, the power was on. <clears throat> so, Hamilton, you've been um, hanging with friends, huh? All right, so now I have, I'm going to do the oranges last. So, now, this is the good part. Get you some wine. I think you can use whatever wine my daughter was. Her power was out till 11. Um, so it might have came on 11. I wasn't home. I was at, we went to Wally World and then we went to um, Roses. Get you some wine. I would say not sweet wine because um, this is, it's gonna, it's gonna end up being kind of sweet. So it's, that's gonna make it super sweet. So I would say use like a dry red wine. I have Shiraz here, Yellowtail Shiraz. But listen, if you make this thing at your house, use what you want to use. Because I'm not a chef. I just can't. I think I cook really well. All right, we adding wine. Red, you got your cup. Let me, let me, let me, let me pour red a little bit. Red here. I'm not, I can't give Hamilton any. So we're adding our wine. We're adding the whole bottle. <laughs> I know your cup ready, Red. That was our whole bottle of red wine. Again, I suggest if you make this holiday sangria, <laughs> if you make this holiday sangria, I suggest you use a dry, a dry um, red wine because you don't want to use something sweet because there's a lot of sweet in it. So that was a whole bottle of Shiraz by Yellowtail. You can use Merlot, Cabernet. Um, what else can you use? Whatever, whatever, what other? Malbec, maybe. Another grape. All right, what's next? I'm gonna chop my apple. Listen, it's the holidays. You gotta use the whole, why would we use a half bottle? You gotta enjoy yourself. So I'm gonna try to do these lives more often. I had to like build up the nerves to do this tonight. I was walking around here like, cause I'm not in the kitchen so I gotta make sure I have everything so I don't have to walk away and leave you guys. I'm at my bacon bar where all the magic happens. <laughs> I'm chopping my apple. I probably should have chopped some of this stuff a little bit earlier, right? Red, 
doesn't this feel familiar? I mean, it's so cold. <laughs> Sorry to freeze. <laughs> it definitely will freeze. But I put the frozen fruit in. That's why I freeze the fruit to put in here because it makes it, it keeps it cold for you. But if it gets, if it warms up, I can put it on the porch. So what's some stuff y'all want to see me make up here? What, sit it outside, Ren? Got one more apple to cut. Then I gotta show y'all what else goes in this. Facebook will let me receive stars on this page. Oh, it feels familiar. Like, um, I'm making a lot. I, I forgot that I asked you that. Um, I'm making stuffed salmon. I got Cornish hens that I marinated. I'm going to show my green sauce up here that I marinate most things in. And it's a green sauce that you can use on um, a lot of stuff. You can you can use it on vegetables. You can use it on chicken. You can grill it or you can roast with it. I took the pictures. I just have to put them up. But I'm a, I'm trying to go live more often. It says it says they're enabled. Said zero stars receive. You might be able to get it after. Um, But cooking has been so therapeutic for me this doing this last year, which I've been cooking way before that, but dealing with the stress of the doctors and all that stuff. All right, so I'm adding apple. If you're just coming in, if you're just coming in, get in here, get in here. I'm making holiday sangria. <clears throat> if you don't follow, please do. And share with your friends. I think I'm gonna have more fruit than um than juice. <laughs> All right, so that is so now we're gonna add some more cocktails to this sangria. Now listen, I'm not I'm not from Spain. This is a uh this this drink is from Spain. This may not be the way they do it. It's the way I do it. It's Charlie's space. We do things the way Charlie likes here. All right, so we just added a bottle of red wine. Not sweet, but if you want to use sweet, go for it. Now we're adding triple sec. And so this is my thing about like punches and stuff. I don't like to, I don't like to buy expensive alcohol if you're making like a punch because I feel like it's a waste of money. Because if you're going to add, like, Grey Goose or, you know, top shelf um, orange liqueur to, like, a punch, are you, is it really, it's not getting the full, you're not getting the full effect from it. Okay, so this is orange liqueur, whatever kind you like. This was like a, it wasn't the low, the cheapest, but it wasn't the most expensive. Hey, Keith, oh my, that's my cousin, y'all. That's my real cousin. Should I stop? I'm gonna add a whole bottle. <laughs> What's going on, cousin? <clears throat> Hence the last name, Keisha Coakley. <clears throat> How are you? Merry Christmas. So there's a bottle of red wine, then we just added a bottle of triple sack. Now we're going, I told you, if you drink this, we're gonna add some peach, parmesan, Peach, you can use whatever you like. If you want to use Crown instead, like I said, I don't put expensive alcohol in a punch because you're like, why are you paying $50 to put something in a punch? 
Save your money. I'm doing well. I can't complain. Thank you for asking. So this, I'm adding the peach parmesan. If I can open it. Hi, Marie. Thank you for joining us. Should I add half a whole? I'm going to let y'all. Half a whole. The whole thing or half? Somebody out there, let me know. <laughs> That's what it's about. It's the holidays. Hey, Sheba. Merry Christmas, Marie. <clears throat> so we adding half a whole. I'm going to add all of it. Y'all taking too long. Red said all of it. I knew you would say that. All right. It's the holidays, right? I mean. So, y'all, I'm trying to go live more often. Oh, Tracy, how are you? I just see you, you came in. So, these are all people that I know. Tracy, so I, how are you, Sheba? I used to work at The Gap, and Tracy was, she was the store manager. Long time ago. I don't think I can fit Gap clothes now. I probably could. <clears throat> All right, so we add it. I'm making, if you just get into the room, I'm making holiday sangria. Uh, hey, Laquita. This is like a high school reunion in here now. Got a family reunion, a high school reunion, new family reunion. We're making sangria. I've added already some fruit. I've added fresh apples. Frozen raspberries, frozen pineapple, frozen strawberries. What else did I put? Um, did I say pineapple? Laquita, what's going on? Merry Christmas. So we've added one bottle of dry red wine. <clears throat> A bottle. You said you could never wear that? Yes, you can. You could wear clothes out of there. But the flip flops. <laughs> Not the flip flops in the hat. One bottle of triple sec. It doesn't have to be super expensive. This is going in a punch. A bottle of peach parmesan, which I think is a brandy, right? Yes, it's brandy. You can get whatever brandy you would like or whatever brandy you drink. It doesn't have to be. Um... <clears throat> oh, you love a good drink? Well, listen, I'm, get, I'm giving you all a glass tonight. This is my Christmas drink for you all. Add your brandy. You can use crown or whatever you like. Um, did I put everything up? Oh. Now, this is the part that makes it sweet. And you won't even know that there's alcohol in this. This pomegranate juice. Yes, you got to make it. It's good. It's good. And like I said, don't go to the store and buy expensive things to make this punch. Because it's a lot of liquor in one punch. So we have pomegranate juice. I think this is probably, this is more expensive than some of the alcohol that I bought. And I'm going to add the whole thing. All right. That's all of our pomegranate juice. I need to put a little trash can over here. <clears throat> Next. I have a lemon. Because this is going to be super sweet. I'm going to squeeze some of this lemon juice in here. Do I have a... <clears throat> I'm going to do it up so I can... Oh, I won't cast your seeds today. Thank you for the heart. Y'all, I'm so glad y'all stopped in. I appreciate that. Some of y'all I have... Some of y'all I've seen on Facebook, but I haven't seen you in, like, person in years. And I didn't go to the reunion... High school reunion. So squeeze a little lemon juice in there because it's, it's kind of sweet. But it's one of those drinks that's sweet, but it catches up to you really fast. And the best part of it, you can eat the fruit and you'll still get a little buzz. There's some seeds in here, but don't judge. All right, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go live once a week. I don't want to talk about that reunion. 
<laughs> That's why I didn't go. Yes, it definitely will sneak up on you. <clears throat> and I, I don't think I was in town when the reunion happened. Was I in Canada? I think I... When was the reunion? I think I was out of town. But I still don't want to talk about it. All right, so now I'm going to add some orange slices. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't in town. I think I got the biggest knife in the kitchen and it's making me nervous. So this is just to make it pretty. Some orange slices on top. I probably should have stirred that first. And the piece of orange that I didn't cut, I'm gonna squeeze the juice in there. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Y'all baking and cooking away? Pour me some in the jug. That's probably against NC law. You trying to have me, and this is recorded, we don't know who's watching. I think I'm gonna cut one more orange. <clears throat> so like I said, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna try to do this once a week. At least, if I can't do it once a week. Alexa, off. Alexa, off. Now who's talking to her? Did y'all hear me say her name? When I'm talking to her, she don't play what I want to hear. But when I'm not talking to her, she can play what she want to play. Like, do that at somebody else's house. She got me messed up on Christmas Eve. So what do y'all want to see me cook? <laughs> For real. You said two times a week? Hopefully, I'm cooking, what is that? Oh, pot roast? <laughs> Alexa ain't stuck me. It all, listen, Keisha, this drink is all, this is like a popular drink. I make, I only make it two times a year, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And this is gonna last like, it'll probably be here till New Year's. All right, did I put everything? So I'm I'm trying it out to see how this works, but I'm definitely gonna do it. Um, I've been saying I was gonna do this for years, and this year, finding out some things medically that you know had basically was like a slap in the face to like, do what you wanna do and stop worrying about what other people have to say or what their opinions are gonna be, because guess what? When you're dead and gone, they're still gonna have an opinion about you, whether it's true or false. So I'm doing what I want to do. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Pay your past due bills. Don't worry about my business. <clears throat> okay. I want to go there. Tonight. I want to go there. Thank you, Red, for the hearts. All right. So we put, um, I didn't bring a spoon, so I'm going to use this knife to stir. Maybe I'll do a New Year's video. It's because it, it is taking me a long time to get to that point. <laughs> it's the truth. Like, pay your past due bills. Don't worry about my business. Because my, my business don't pay you. Or your bills. <clears throat> um, but I've been wanting to do this for so long. And I've held myself back for years. And not doing it out of fear. Like, oh, I don't want somebody to think I'm trying to be like them. And I'm like, you can't be like them. You can only be you. Because you're an original. Just like they're an original. And guess what? Burger King is not mad that McDonald's is next door. And they sell the same things with different flavors. All right, y'all. So, y'all got to come back and see me. Because I'm going to do this again. Probably next week. Because I don't go back to work until the, what? The 4th? Man, look, you're making me laugh. You know, I swear I'm a comedian part-time. And the jokes either land or they don't. <laughs> All right, so that's my holiday sangria, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to make for y'all next. 
they land or they don't. But usually I'm pretty funny. I'm, I'm so happy y'all came. I, I was like, I'm probably going to do this by myself. Nobody's going to be there. But I'm trying to, you know, start cooking on Facebook. Oh, you got your cup? Y'all want a cup? I guess I need to taste this, right? <clears throat> Let's use some good old styrofoam. Now, I have things to do. Like, I... I got, I got some things to bake and cook and prepare for tomorrow. Are y'all all ready for the tomorrow? Ready for the holiday, which is tomorrow. She tasty. She's tasty. Who want a sip? Who want a sip? Come on, Red, get you a sip, Keisha. <laughs> So let me, for those of you, uh, Keisha, you want some? <laughs> Keisha, we probably need to, because when's the last time I seen you? It's been a while. You you could make a virgin one. So, like, you could get the pomegranate juice and get, like, um, you can use sparkling water and get different fruit juices and make, it'll definitely be, you can, or you can use sparkling um, shrimp. What is it? What is that sparkling grape juice? <clears throat> like get white sparkling grape juice, use a pomegranate juice, put the fruit. You could make a virgin. Virgin. Don't be drinking and leaning. <laughs> Listen, I think I can hold my alcohol pretty well. I, hopefully. I won't tell my personal business up here. Y'all will be sending each other DM. Girl, did you hear? <laughs> or I'm going to use Red's voice. All right, so what should I cook? What should I cook next week? If I came back into this next week, what do you what do you guys want to see? Okay, here's butterball. Sure. Let's talk about cooking turkey. Alexa, off. Thanks for the chance to talk turkey with you. Come back with any more questions. She is listening too hard. Yes, pomegranate juice probably is good for you when you're not adding like three bottles of alcohol to it. But it's the holiday, so add your alcohol and enjoy your pomegranate juice. I like pomegranate juice. I would have put pomegranate seeds, but I didn't clean the pomegranate and I didn't buy. That's one thing I always put as well. I put the pomegranate seeds on top, but I didn't um, buy some already clean. I didn't feel like cleaning one because it takes forever. But you can add it. Thank you for reminding me. So what y'all want to see? Hey, Giselle. Ah. Oh, I will do that. I'm actually making this thing right now called an entremet. And it's a lot. Oh, you got to make this, Giselle. Super easy. I miss you, too. I'll see you what, in a week and a half. We go back to work on the 4th, right? I'll be there at nine. <laughs> but I'm making this thing called an entremet right now. And it's like, it's a layered dessert. And it's like two types. Of, so it has a chocolate mousse. Then I made um, a chocolate mousse, a white chocolate cookies and cream mousse, a brownie. I'm trying to see if I have the... So this is a mold for it. And so you put the mousse in, then you you put the mousse. I, the white chocolate mousse is freezing right now. So then you'll put that, you put the chocolate mousse first, then the white chocolate disc mousse. And it's in a smaller one. I don't think I have it around. And then the brownie goes on top. You smooth it up, freeze it, turn it out. And then you pour, it's called a mirror glaze, which it makes, if you've seen a shiny cake or shiny cakes in stores or bakeries 
that's what's on top of the stuff, the, called a mirror glaze, and then you pour a mirror glaze over it. It's really good. My family may be like, I don't want to eat that, but it's good. So yes, I'm so glad that y'all came and sat with me while I made this. I'm gonna try to do this once a week. It's probably a little easier now because I, I don't have to work. I'm not teaching online lessons until the first week in January. Oh, I will. I'm t I didn't take pictures of the steps because I was doing so many things, but I think I want to make I'll, so that we have to do a two day a two day live um, stream because it's you have to do it in steps. So you have to make the one mousse one day. And you have to use gelatin sheets. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. Me and Entremet is how, you know, have been fighting for a while. And I'm trying to conquer them. So listen, if y'all make this sangria, you got to let me know. And let me know what you do different. Because, you know, that's the thing about cooking. You, get to, you can take somebody else's recipe and do what you want to it the way you want to do it. I appreciate all of you for hanging out. Can I see everybody that's in here? So are y'all ready for Christmas? Did you, you got all your gifts. They're wrapped. I'm taking you back. <laughs> You know, that's funny, Sheba, because when I think back to high school, like, I remember having a good time, but, you know, I was kind of a loner. I didn't really have, like, a group of friends, which I'm like that now. <clears throat> so I have memories of people, but a lot of, like, I just don't remember, like, having, hanging with a lot of people. Rapping right now? Oh! Am, am I the subject of, so I'm, like, on TV. You just you just spoke that into existence. You spoke it. I, I receive, Father. It wasn't seventh grade, Naisha. But we got to have a conversation because I want you for old and new. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling a little buzz already. It's probably not good to be on live and buzzing. But yeah, I don't have, I have memories of high school, but I don't, of certain people, but no, we moved to J-Bill in 92. So when did we go to high school, 94? Oh my God, y'all, we are old, some of us. Well, some of y'all, because I'm not old. I, I'm not, I'm not claiming that. But I'm so, my y'all, my cousin came in. I haven't seen her in so long. I think the last time we spoke was about a family reunion. <laughs> and me being me. Yes, Giselle, we definitely are the same age. In spirit. It's all right. There's no grammar police here. <clears throat> Okay, y'all, so I'm, <laughs> it was a math class. You made me laugh, said something smart to someone. Me said something smart? I am a very nice person. That's not, that's not who I am. But I will protect myself. If you open the door, don't get mad at how I come out. <laughs> 32. <laughs> You know what? I wouldn't want to be 32 again. Like, and it's funny because like, now that I'm older and when I was younger, I thought like, when my mom was this, I was like, oh, she's older. Like, but I don't feel old. Like, <clears throat> I mean, even, oh, Hamilton, don't, don't try to add that we the best of friends. Don't try to do that on this live. Uh, 
Uh, we we'll talk out. We'll talk off. We'll talk off live. Right. I enjoy being my age. Like I feel like it's a great age. <coughs> I enjoy every minute of it. I feel like I'm not too old, but I'm not too young. Cause I thought I knew some things at thirty. But I'm like, oh, you really don't know what you thought. Like, I got 40 and I just had, like, this epiphany. It was like, but wait a minute. You see people for who they are. And that's not a bad thing. You just can, like, you can see through the smoke. And I know for me, this last year has been probably the hardest year of my life. Just because I found out I was diagnosed with MS. And then, I'm... And they told me, and I was kind of like, what? And then I, could, for, I couldn't walk for weeks. I could walk, but not, not like full speed. And if anybody who knows me, I'm a high energy person. I typically do everything pretty fast. I speak fast. I walk fast. I could barely walk down the hallway. So... Just, it was, it was a, but it was, I felt like it was a wake up call. It was God's way of telling me, look, stop denying yourself to make other people happy. Do what you want to do the way you want to do it. Oh, you glad I'm doing well on live? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hamilton. That's really nice of you. But for years, I kept denying myself. I wouldn't do, I, I would do things, but I would do it halfway, even in my business. Because I was like, well, I don't, I don't need to compete with anybody because I know I'm good at what I do. And that's not to be arrogant, but I know I'm good at what I do. I don't, I'm like, well, I don't want to be in confrontational situations with people. Not that I can't handle confrontation. I don't like confrontation. But like I said, if you knock on the door, don't get mad at how I answer. <clears throat> So I, I was just trying to like go with the flow, do things, you know, but I'm like, now I'm just like, do what you want to do. Don't worry about what anybody has to say, because guess what? Somebody's going to have something negative to say, no matter what you do, no matter what you post on whatever social media platforms you use, somebody's going to have something to say about it. So I'm living at 43. It's just like, okay, I'm doing what I want to do. It, this is so this is so reminding me of like other live streaming platforms but it's Facebook alright y'all so I'm not sitting up here <clears throat> keeping y'all stuck I'm gonna come back and do this next week I don't know what I'm gonna make I might do the entremets in January but I probably should do them while I have time off You thought I was at least 30? I, yeah, it's been a... Well, I, I take that as a compliment. Thank you. But I'm 43, Giselle. I'll be 44 in August. Very true. It's life. We, we live and learn. No better, do better. <clears throat> All right, so I want to come back next week. I'm so glad y'all came and hung out with me. There was, I think, nine at one point. Now there's six. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And come back next time. I'm going to do this once a week. I'm going to force myself to do it. If you don't see me do it, go on Charlie's Space and say, you need to go live. Oh, thank you. I So, Giselle. <laughs> she, I think Giselle's trying to keep me up here. So, I've been doing intermittent fasting. But this week has been horrible because I've just been like, I mean, it's the holidays, and I, I have a journal and everything. I write down what I eat every day, um, what I eat, my medication. What would you say? Come back next week. <laughs> yes, come back and remind me. So, Giselle, I've been doing horrible with eating this week, but I feel like we got to have a break. But the scale really, I think the scale went up like one, one pound. So, it's like 214. And I'm trying to get to like, I would like to get to 190. In my performance days, I was 170 something, but I, I thought I'm a little too old to be 175 pounds. 
So I'll get to like 192 and maybe try to turn up, but you know, I couldn't run for a while because of this MS. So I want to go back to the gym, but I'll just keep walking for right now. But listen, thank y'all so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And I want you all to come back. I'm going to come back next week. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm coming back next week. Go, go to the grocery store before it closes. Get your bottle of red wine. Go to whatever whatever state you live in, ABC store, or you might might be a private owned um, liquor store, and get the things you need. Some red wine, dry red wine. These kids got. I ain't. What you mean? I ain't. These kids got me. Oh. <laughs> dry red wine. I use Shiraz, right? Then I use some triple sec. Don't buy. Don't go to the store buying. $50 triple sec for some sangria. Save your money. Some brandy. Whatever whatever you drink. Some pomegranate juice. And I use pineapples, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and grapes. I, did I forget the grapes? It's the holiday. Liquor stores always make money during the holidays. <clears throat> and I put oranges on top and some lemon juice. I love you all. I will be back. Thank you, thank you, thank you.